Two people are killed in what Monk's Corner police call a murder-suicide. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dean Stevens. Victoria Hansen has this evening off. According to the Berkeley County Coroner, 61-year-old Charles Boyette and 44-year-old Mary Ann Cox were found dead outside of a bank today. Both are from Monk's Corner. ABC News 4's Nikki Gaskins just got back from the scene, joining us live in the studio now with more. Dean, according to Mott's Corner Police, they say the shooting happened shortly after 530 outside the South Coast Community Bank on Main Street. Investigators say Boyette shot Cox several times before then turning the gun on himself. Police blocked off Main Street for several hours, investigating a deadly crime unusual to the small town of Monk's Corner. It is so terrible because stuff like this don't happen in Monk's Corner. Jacqueline Gray went to the scene of the crime after getting a call from her daughter, who works at a nearby restaurant. She called me on the phone and said the lady who got killed, she just been in, in there for lunch, 12 o'clock. Then the next thing she heard, she was dead. According to Gray's daughter, Cox worked at South Coast Community Bank. She said she'd been in there today laughing and talking and having fun. I just don't remember a case like this. Lieutenant Michael Roach with Monk's Corner Police says Charles Boyette shot Mary Ann Cox near the bank's drive through ATM before turning the gun on himself. He approached her, he fired once at her, and then two more times. So far, the motive for the shooting still isn't clear. It's speculation at this point. You know, there's been that there was a relationship between them, but I don't have enough information to tell you what kind of relationship it was. Coroner Bill Salisbury says both Cox and Boyette were already dead by the time police arrived. It appears they were both shot in the, the lower part of the body. As police try to piece together what led up to the shooting, for those who call Monk's Corner home like Graves, a crime of this magnitude in the small community is hard to swallow. It makes me feel depressed how he went down. Now police say two witnesses saw the entire shooting and are currently talking with them to figure out a motive for that shooting. Reporting live in the studio, Nikki Gaskins, ABC News 4.